So you have a bunch of rhubarb that you just don't know what to do with? Well, UW nutritionist Donna Weihoffen is here with some really great Donna ideas. Donna knows what to do with it. Yes. Oh, yeah. And do you know what it is? Right, is it a fruit or a vegetable? Mm. It's a vegetable. I, I was going to say vegetable, but this is a good question. <laughs> okay. It is a vegetable, but it's really, really healthy and low in calories. One cup is only 20 calories, mm. two grams of fiber, mm -hmm. has vitamin A and a vitamin K. And really what's so neat about it, it has lutein and zeaxanthine, which is good for your eyes. I've okay. always talked about lutein is good for your eyes. Mm -hmm. need some more yeah. So, bread yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and so we eat, the, we eat the stem, the stalk, and we okay. don't eat the, this. This has oxalic acid in it, and so it's in real high amounts. So if you cooked it, you'd get really sick if you ate it. I mean, one okay. bite isn't going to kill you, but a little. Okay. You're not to eat the top, just okay. the bottom. You, can you eat rhubarb raw? You you can. I think you told me once you ate it raw. Yeah, you. I think. <laughs> I don't know if it was like celery. It like, wasn't no. good. Yeah. It no, was, yeah, it's, it's not. not. It's really it's really bitter. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to make you an upside down cake. Okay. okay. And I'm going to start with my pan that mm -hmm. I've oiled and cut up rhubarb. Cut it just in tiny little pieces. And there's four cups in here. Mm -hmm. And then because rhubarb all needs sweetening, uh -huh. I'm going to add part sugar and part Splenda. Okay. And if you're cooking it as a sauce, you can use all Splenda. Okay. And that's all you do for the bottom. And then I made a top, which is made out of eggs, and it has a little bit of sour cream in it. Mm -hmm. And I'll put that on top like this and just smoosh it around till mm -hmm. it's all smooth and bake it. And this is what it turns out to be over here. Oh my goodness. And then okay. you take it out of the pan, mm -hmm. and since mm -hmm. the rhubarb's underneath, you tip and it you upside down, okay. and this is the, the, the oh, upside wow. down cake. So it's really That's so easy to do. I'm I know, have to try that I know. Too. Rhubarb is so nice. Do you want to try that? Mm -mm, you go right ahead. I've been eating the bread. <laughs> uh, yeah. Charlotte, you'd like Somebody's that. Somebody's hungry. You'd like that. Um, the bread is real. How'd you think of the bread? It's really good. Well, it's <laughs> not much left there. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Rob likes it. That it's is really a good. very good recommendation. It's very moist. Yeah, that is on the website, and that's super moist. Um, then I did something unusual with rhubarb. Huh. I made a rhubarb ketchup. And you cook really? rhubarb in a pan, and you cook it with diced tomatoes. Okay. And um, pickling spice, a little bit of onion, and a little bit of cinnamon. And you cook this down for about an hour, and then use the immersion blender, mm -hmm. and it's a ketchup. So it's what a great idea. Like I'm not even going to have you try it, but you would like right. it when you're feeling mm -hmm. better. <laughs> what a great idea. Yeah, it's and it's only eight calories a tablespoon, uh -huh. and it has just this unique flavor, and you can put it on anything. It's anything. really, really good. Okay, so pie is really good. Keep eating. Keep eating your vegetables. Yes. I don't yeah, want exactly. Marquine to get a Marquine sees this. He's going to eat this food. But you always like your vegetables. Donna, don't thank you. you. Yeah. All right, you can find Donna's recipes on our website, channel3000.com. Look under the At Home tab, click on Food and Recipes, and there you will find Donna's recipes from today and archives of past recipes she's made on our show. We'll be right back.